Hi friend, welcome to brand new video lesson in the course of getting started with online teaching. In this lesson, I will talk about the perfect course structure. And this whole course will be a comprehensive guide for you to create high quality, engaging and sellable online video lesson for your online course. Today in your first lesson, we will delve into the heart of this course and that is the course structure and if you ask me why the structure matters i have to tell you a story like imagine taking a trip without a map pretty confusing right that's what an unstructured course feels like a good structure is like a friendly guide leading students smoothly through your knowledge and make sure they learn the most they can and there are a few things we are going to discuss in this video lesson including the course title course description course objective target audience course price and some bonus scripts so let's start with the course title first thing first right so let's talk about your course title so this is your chance to make a killer first impression keep it snappy and clear and make sure it screams it likes you want to learn from this for example if you are teaching photography basics why not judge it up with something snap master unleashing your inner photographer so this can be your course title so you find it curious and interesting right so let's discuss the course description in the course description go beyond the basics tell a story imagine your learner thinking this is exactly what i have been looking for when this description will read by the learner they will say this is exactly what i have been looking for so let's give you more example like in the description how you can add Add for our photography course how about get ready to capture breathtaking moments and join us to unlock the secrets of photography in a way that as a fun as a snapping selfies with friends so see how these things can attract your audience or the learners by reading the description people will feel more curious to join in the course now let's discuss about the course outline if you can prepare the course outline you are almost 50 percent done of your course you should think like it's a thrilling novel each module is a new chapter building up an epic final let's take the example of the photography again if your photography journey includes modules each module is a new chapter let's take the example of the photography course description let's assume as i am preparing my photography course so i will prepare the module of my outline the introduction to camera or the camera gear and then ninja hacks for taking a great photo if you put these kinds of module or hook for your learner they will feel more interest to learn from the modules now we are going to discuss about objective of the course and which is very important because at a first glimpse of your course they are going to see four or five sentences that what you have written in the objective and what they are going to achieve so while you are preparing your objective please make Make sure you prepare them as one sentence in a line so you can make four sentences each line and that can hook your learners if i again take the example of the photography then you can mention by the end of this lesson or by the end of this course you will be a very professional photographer or you can land on a job if you learn this course you will be more confident to taking photographs let's discuss with our target audience so as i know who are my audience are i definitely make sure that that what makes them join in this course so in the target audience now picture your ideal learner who are they what makes them tick or what makes them to join in the course if your course is for beginners shout out from the very rooftop including in the description might be that this course is your playground if you have never touched a camera but dream of capturing the world through your lens then this course is for you so you can definitely put these kinds of words in your target audience so that again they feel curious to join in the course i definitely want to evaluate the learning of your learner so to evaluate the learning you must have to prepare the assessments and in popular modules or the learning platforms mostly they approve the mcq based question because where you don't need to have the interfere if it is on forum discussion then you can may have the contribute but if you put mcq format question you need to put less effort so prepare at least 20 or 30 questions which satisfy your course 
and course modules of your course and which will help learners to justify their knowledge as well also don't forget to mention about the course prerequisite if your course requires some basic knowledge of something or for an example let's take a programming course that to solve any problem you must need to have a at least a programming language knowledge so that's that's you can set as a prerequisite for your course but not all of the course will be have prerequisite so in that case you can say there are no prerequisite required for this course you will learn everything from this course or if i take the example of the photography course then i can say no prior photography ninja skills is required everything you are going to learn in this course so let's discuss about the course price tk price that's fair transparent and shows you are the real deal for an example let's take the photography course based on the measurement of your contents how you are putting your effort you can pick a good price for you as well as for your learner as you are going to monetize this course you can think of different business style that with low value if you want to reach maximum audience you can do that or if you have premium audience then you can set a higher price and with a very good quality content in their course so however thing i would like to mention the most important thing before creating a course to think about the target audience and the course price your settings for your audience let's discuss about the course then here it depends on the platform that you are putting your course on if you are preparing your course on your own platform then you you can do it for 10 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes but however let's take an example of udemy they required 30 minutes of course at least and in the 30 minutes of course you need at least five video lessons let's take the example of skillshare they need at least one class which required at least 10 minutes so if you have 10 minutes of a video lesson then you can publish a course in the skillshare let's take the example of international online university they required one hour of course duration of short course more especially to publish on their platform so it's again depends on you whether you are publishing your courses and uh, then you can decide or while measuring your content then you can decide how many modules you are going to add and what will be the length of your course so we are going to wrapping up this video lesson remember no one says fits all structure adapt this principle to your unique content and audience before we move into the next lesson i want to give you some tips and what i call it the secret sauce for my online courses show the students how you are teaching work in the real world with relatable example and case studies make it fun learning party encourage discussion forums or to participants in qa so that they can have a direct interaction with you or to you can ask them to create a group project to build connection and share the ideas you definitely should mix up the videos infographics animation screencast to hook your learner in your content keep things fresh clean simple and exciting with different types of content to match different learning styles so these are the secret sauce i would say you should definitely apply now it's your turn go out and start building your online course outline use the template provided in the resource section and keep the tips discussed in mind remember this is just the first step in your online teaching journey thank you so much for watching see you in the next video